The Comprehensive Peace Agreement (CPA), Arabic: Atfaqat al-Islam al-Shamul Ittifaqiyya al-Salam al-Samil, also known as the Naivasha Agreement, was an accord signed on January 9, 2005, by the Sudan People's Liberation Movement (SPLM) and the Government of Sudan. The CPA was meant to end the Second Sudanese Civil War, develop democratic governance countrywide, and share oil revenues. It also set a timetable for a Southern Sudanese independence referendum. The peace process was encouraged by the Intergovernmental Authority on Development as well as IGAD Partners, a consortium of donor countries. topic components The process resulted in the following agreements also referred to as protocols The Makakos Protocol or Chapter 1 signed in Makakos Kenya on the 20th of July 2002 Agreement on broad principles of government and governance the Protocol on Power Sharing or Chapter 2, signed in Naivasha, Kenya on 26 May 2004 The Agreement on Wealth Sharing or Chapter 3, signed in Naivasha, Kenya on 7 January 2004 the Protocol on the Resolution of the Conflict in ABA Area or Chapter 4, signed in Naivasha, Kenya on 26 May 2004 The Protocol on the Resolution of the Conflict in Southern Kurdifan and Blue Nile States or Chapter 5, signed in Naivasha, Kenya on 26 May 2004 the Agreement on Security Arrangements or Chapter 6, signed in Naivasha, Kenya on 25 September 2003 The Permanent Ceasefire and Security Arrangements Implementation Modalities and Appendices or Annex I, signed in Naivasha, Kenya on 30 October 2004 the Implementation Modalities and Global Implementation Matrix and Appendices or Annex Year 2, signed in Naivasha, Kenya on 31 December 2004 The final, comprehensive agreement was signed on 9 January 2005 and marked the commencement of implementation activities. Implementation Topic Two thousand and seven Southern Withdrawal On the 11th of October 2007, the SPLM withdrew from the Government of National Unity GONU, accusing the central government of violating the terms of the CPA. In particular, the SPLM states that the Khartoum-based government, which is dominated by the National Congress Party, has failed to withdraw over 15,000 troops from southern oilfields and failed to implement the protocol on ABA. The SPLM stated that it was not returning to war, while analysts noted that the agreement had been disintegrating for some time, notably because of international focus on the conflict in nearby Darfur. The SPLM announced that it was rejoining the government on the 13th of December 2007, following an agreement. The agreement states that the seat of government will rotate between Juba and Khartoum every three months, though it appears that this will be largely symbolic, as well as funding for a census vital for the referendum and a timetable for the withdrawal of troops across the border. Northern Sudanese troops finally left southern Sudan on 8 January 2008. Topic: South Sudan Independence. 
A referendum was held from 9 to 15 January 2011 to determine if South Sudan should declare its independence from Sudan, with 98.83% of the population voting for independence. It became independent as the Republic of South Sudan on 9 July 2011. Popular consultations Popular consultations for Blue Nile and South Kurdistan have been suspended as part of the ongoing conflict in those regions between the northern wing of the SPLA and the justice and equality movement against the central government. See also Assessment and Evaluation Commission Southern Sudanese Independence Referendum, 2011 Sudan-SPLMN Conflict 2011 UN Peacemaker References and notes Topic External Links Full text of the Comprehensive Peace Agreement, UN Peacemaker Read All Peace Agreements for Sudan, UN Peacemaker UNMIS.org, the official web site of the United Nations Mission in Sudan, UNMIS. Updated timeline of the implementation of the Comprehensive Peace Agreement in Sudan, Center for International Peace Operations ZIF, April 2009 Sudan, human rights accountability must be part of North-South Peace Agreement, Human Rights Watch, November 2004 Sudan after the Naivasha Peace Agreement, no champagne yet by Dennis M. Tull, German Institute for International and Security Affairs, 3 February 2005 The Khartoum SPLM Agreement, Sudan's Uncertain Peace, International Crisis Group, 25 July 2005 Sudan's Comprehensive Peace Agreement, The Long Road Ahead, International Crisis Group, 31 March 2006 Sudan's Comprehensive Peace Agreement, Beyond the Crisis, International Crisis Group, 13 March 2008